to say Asrian. Okay, well, hi, welcome. <laughs> I am Cindy Lou Barlow, and welcome to another episode of Cool Cast, where I interview very cool people doing super cool things. Today, I'm super excited about two guests that I have, and I just as a, a little teaser, I'm going to spray some of this amazing smelling stuff that we're going to get to in just a moment. I'd like to first introduce a wonderful woman who I've just really enjoyed meeting and knowing. Her name is Yuna Asri. Hi, everyone. <laughs> and I'll bring her in. Yuna. Hi, everyone. How are you? Hi. How's it going, guys? <laughs> Hold on a second. I'm having trouble pinning you. Because Mercury is about to go. Because That's Mercury true. is in retrograde, and there we go. Not we yet. Are. Not okay. yet. Not one yet. more day. <laughs> we have one more day, but I already we have one more day right now. Um, okay, so Yuna, welcome. Actually, Hi. I'm going to bring Adele in too. Might as well just get all of you, all of us in. So this is Adele Levitin as well. She is the maker of these amazing scents that um, I just sprayed. And um, we want to talk about um, we want to talk about some of that in a moment here. Before we do, I want to I want to just talk to each of you about your lives. How did you get to where you are, who you are, and um, what are some of the cool things that you're doing? So I'm going to I'm going to start with you, Yuna. Okay. I met you first. Um, when I first met Yuna, <laughs> we went on a hike together. Remember that day we went on a hike? I and do. Of, it was amazing. One of the things I remember about her is she said, I am just someone who can make things happen. And I was like, I want to be someone who can make things happen. I need to stick close to this woman. So, um, and, um, and, and then I learned that Yuna um, is, well, she's a designer. So you want to tell us about your designs and, um, and how you came up with, with what you- Sure. What you I, um, I specialize in women's and men's bespoke clothing. So essentially, I really enjoy when things fit and I want to kind of share that with the world. Um, my tailors are over in Mumbai and we've known each other for about 10 years and they have more tailoring experience than I've been kind of alive. So um, definitely leave the stitching and the hand sewing to them, but I do all the design work. Um, I've been recently, I started doing women's wear. It's been about uh, 10 years and they kind of have refused, refused. We don't know what to do with women's stuff, but in the past year, they kind of buckled down and learned um, patterning and all those wonderful things that come with, you know, the changing female bodies. So we were able to incorporate a lot of different techniques and technical aspects of um, essentially bespoke clothing to, to now women. And um, I'm really excited to kind of be a part of this revolutionary venture. And I, I think, you know, when I put this thing on, I feel like superhuman and I really can't wait to share that with the females that I that I know that I'm going to start knowing and just the world really you so. know um so that that piece right there is that the one that I saw at your house a, mm -hmm. a while back it is ridiculous you guys it is like so amazing cool. so so beautiful show the very very back that's my favorite it has this little adorable cool. thing in the back and it is so well made. It is the way clothing used to be made before it was mass made in, yes. in just a sweatshop somewhere. And, uh, and yeah. you know, uh, I just want to go back a little bit because I've met your mother and mm -hmm. you were supposed to be a dentist. What happened? I was supposed to be a dentist. I got to a point where I was just like, no matter how many times I tell people to floss their teeth, they're never going to floss their teeth ever. <laughs> and it, it, it became something I kind of fell out of love with it. Um, and I realized also that I'm not going to necessarily be doing a service to people. I'm just going to be doing insurance work all the time. So it's, it's something I wanted to pursue based on the pressures of my mom, but realized I was just running away from it. I was coming up with different excuses why I didn't want to do it and you know, like everything else, uh, you can't force it, right? So, so as did much- did you decide to go into tailoring? Was that something that you were always interested in? Um, no, so I was, I switched over to uh, flavor chemistry, essentially. Um, and flavor I wanted chemistry. to, yeah, because I have a bio, so I, I have a biology degree um, 
from St. Michael's College and I was doing genetic work for about two years as well after that. So I have some lab experience and I was going to transition my love of like hospitality and cocktail making and all that stuff to something I can get paid for. Um, and I was looking into flavor chemistry and what better way kind of to get in touch with flavor chemistry than to become a bartender, sort of. <laughs> um, and alongside of that, one of my close friends came back from Geneva and he's shaped in a very different kind of shape and he was kind of venture capital guy and he's just like I really want to start this company and I really want to do men's custom clothing so alongside of me trying to do flavor chemistry I was also helping build a business with tailoring um, learned everything I could under the moon under the sun about measurements cloth fabrics everything and then just kind of took that business and started my own because he 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 was kind of bored of it and I, I was not. So I, that was 10 years ago. And so alongside my path of hospitality and flavor and, you know, all the other stuff I did with Absolute Vodka and marketing, I, I kept and held this business and I was doing uniforms for restaurants. I was doing, um, I was engineering ways for bartenders to have shirts that they can actually shake a cocktail in and it was just, it was the merging of all kind of worlds. So for most of the restaurants, I do the uniforms and um, yeah, can have a cocktail while I'm talking to some of my friends behind the bar now too. So well, it's a hodgepodge, <laughs> but it's fun. calling you and you said, I have all these men here in my apartment and they're, I'm, I'm measuring them and it was a wedding. So you were doing all of the suits. For yeah, all yeah. The, um, it's, it's a nice solution kids. to... It's a nice solution than a uh, men's warehouse or whatever else. So it's all custom. It's all bespoke. So you can have whatever accents you kind of want and whatever themes you want for the wedding. So we can definitely make that happen. This is, this one's going to actually a bartender in Miami. So it's really cool. They're really, really cool design. Yeah. They're really so beautiful. If, if you could see them and, and touch them, the material is gorgeous. So it's all, all. Thank you. Well, I just, I want to talk to Adele for a minute here too. Yes. So, um, the three of us have become friends. <laughs> And that's why we're all here together. And this is actually the first time I've ever done um, a video with, uh, with interviewing two people. And um, I have to say, when I first met Adele, I fell in love with her too, immediately. Um, <laughs> Mutual. <laughs> and I thank you for introducing me to Yuna. And yes. So yeah, I was the one who introduced her to Yuna because when, um, when I actually, I met Adele's husband, Arthur first, and then I met Adele. And um, when I uh, went to her house, she, she said, oh, let me show you something. <laughs> and she comes in and she pulls out these ridiculously amazing scents that she, that she made. And she hands me this one first, which is her, it's called Equilibrium. And um, I put it to my nose and Oh my gosh. If you want to know what heaven smells like, it smells like this. I'm not kidding you. Oh, it's, a li it's a little addictive. So it's so, it's so addictive. <laughs> it's like Adele, you can never die. We have to have these the rest of the time on the planet. Um, it's, it's like, these are amazing. And so I'm, so, you know, I'm, I'm very much into, um, I, I love essential oils. I'm very much into essential oils. And I I say, Adele, these are like, I've never, I've never experienced um, essential oils like these. Like these are nothing like I've ever experienced before. She gave me a couple to, to try at home and, and, and she said, you know, um, I'm, 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 I would love to connect with anybody who's a marketer and do you know anyone who would like to market these? And I, I couldn't think of anyone at the time. And then I, I, was, I, was, it was, I was seriously using this uh, the next morning and I'm like, Yuna! <laughs> and, then I, and then I called up Yuna and she's like, I'm so there, man. And so we have been playing around with these, with these oils, um, coming up with lots of different ideas for them. Um, but I, before, before, we, before we go into them, Adele, um, I want to just know, I just want you to share with my audience a little bit about yourself. You are from Ukraine. Um, you come from a background of wise women. I I've been in the US for like what, 26, 27 years, I kind of losing count at this point. But um, by trade, 
<laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm like you, the kind of hush posh, because I have master's degree in social psychology. Uh, but when I moved to America, I started doing graphic design, which was always my passion. So, and it switched to any kind of design by now. And, but I've been doing, I've been working with herbs and oils as long as I remember myself. It's kind of like comes from the family line. Um, but the real, like, I don't know, like the product starts happening a couple of years after I had my daughter. Because when Elisa was born, um, I refused to use like commercial lotions and stuff. So I would base her, I would like blend herbs for her bath. I would blend oils for her skin. And all my friends were telling me like, oh my God, this child doesn't have a spot on her ever. Like no, nothing, like perfectly clear skin, no on wood, <laughs> in old Russian tradition. And she always smells amazing. I'm like, you know, nothing to it. It's basically just, you know, all natural stuff. And one of my friends said, like, can you help me out with a little problem I'm having? I'm like, sure, yeah, no problem. And then somebody told me, like, why are we not, like, bottling and selling this stuff? And that started actually through other students who I start blending meditation oils for. And they're like, you got to You got to make it right. And plus, always for like close family and friends, I would always like shout out the little forecasts with something important is happening in the skies and they need to be prepared. Not every day is eventful, but you know, you can outline every day. And like you do in the Instagram, like people are not on the social media, like, no, you do in the Instagram, or you're telling us we're recording, we're doing it. So they start doing it, then I took off because I didn't like what they were doing. And it's been a few years and every day basically post um, the little energy forecast. It's not exactly horoscope, it's just a little outline of what to look forward to and what to be aware of. And your, kind your, of like- Your scents are, are called moon. Um, my scents called moon oils. Moon oils, yeah. But mostly the energy forecasts based moon. on like moon phases. Right. And secondary is a planet alignments. But every day carries a certain energy. And if you, not even into meditation, the scent of the day, and I post it every day on Instagram and um, Twitter, and I recommend which blend to use, it will just, you know, kind of like help you a little throughout the day. And all of the seven blends, they can be mixed with your skincare. You can mix them with your like hair conditioner. You can apply them as perfume. They open up throughout the day and it's kind of, you know, it carries you through. So it's pretty fun. And then of course, equilibrium is just a miracle worker it really for your is. skin. So I want I wanna start with that because I wanna talk a little bit about the equilibrium. So this is the equilibrium. It, um, it just comes in a, a regular little bottle. How much do you use? Um, I always, I always like get like three little drops. But oh, yeah, two, three drops. Enough? And okay. I like easy to, like if you use lotions and potions on your skin, just add it to them. I personally like just get my hands a little bit wet, do a couple drops and just apply it to my skin. So the first time, the first time I met Adele, the first thing I thought when I saw her was like, Oh my God, this woman has such gorgeous skin. It was the very first thing I said before I, you know, just said hello. It was the very first thing I thought. And so when you brought this out, it was like, no wonder she's got such gorgeous skin. Because I've just been using this. I, I stopped using all the other products that I had. I've just been using this. And I've noticed that, um, that a lot of like little blemishes and things have gone away um, because it's winter time here in Massachusetts. And we have the um, the heat going, it dries my skin out so mm -hmm. much, especially at night. I'm noticing it's not so bad. Is that, is either, are all these the things I should be experiencing? Yes. And you also can, like, if you have certain problem areas, you can always use it concentrated, just dab it into your skin. Mm -hmm. But I really like the com combination of, there is also a polybrum spray. Yes. You can just refresh, you can refresh your face. No, this is, this is a man's one. Oh, this is the man spray. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Uh, this is aftershave, but also like everyday spray for men who refuse to use normal skincare and follow the routines, but you know, two pumps a day keeps them going. But with the equilibrium, <laughs> it's actually, it clears your complexion. It's a very interesting blend because it basically works on any type of skin. 
It works for oily skin, it works for dry skin, it wor works, it kind of like removes discoloration, kind of evens everything out. So if you have travel areas, I like to just dub a little bit of it in a certain places when you need when necessary. But so you could put it underneath your eyes. You can put it underneath, you cannot put it like in the creases of the eyes, but like an eye cream, you can basically dab it right here and right above. Yeah. Yeah. And right along here. Yeah. Um, so you can you said you can use it with other oils. So if you have a facial oil, I wouldn't use it with other oils mm -hmm. okay. because again, most of the oils uh, currently available in the market have additives. Mm -hmm. Moon oils don't have anything but essential oils. There is no glycerin. There is no soy. There is no coconut. There is no alcohol. There is like nothing. It's one hundred percent oil blends. And and they, and they come with uh, you said they come with a little. Um, crystal in it right it's uh yeah some of them some of them do yeah sprays all the sprays do and some of the oils do yeah so this one has a little crystal yep. in it. yeah because you need it because the spray is a hydrosol based so uh -huh. there are some there, there are lots of very 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 good stuff in them yeah yeah and they they smell again they all smell delicious so on so, top of everything else so now i want to talk about uh the i'm going to bring this back over here so these, this is the first one that we've talked about. This is for men. So this is the one for men, right? This is like an aftershave for men. Or yes, but it's been known of my girlfriend stealing the stuff of their husbands because it smells so good. Oh yeah. I was supposed to give this to my son and I saw him yesterday <laughs> and I forgot and I'm like, I hope I don't use it all. <laughs> I'll make you another one for your son. <laughs> <laughs> I know what he doesn't know won't hurt him. Um, <laughs> Not after he I do, I do want you to experience it because it is really nice. So I don't have all of them here, but I have this is seven, six. Um, I don't have five, but I have four, um, three, and two, and I don't have and one. And the so two, of course, is your favorite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We'll talk about number two. There's, there's, a two of, there's a two are coming this week. Again, when, when you visited me, I didn't have a full stock of everything, yeah. but you know, I'm making a fresh batch. So so tell us why there are Both of you ladies going to have the full sets. Oh yeah, we, we are, we are. And we're following you on the moon, um, on your uh, moon, um, what is moon it called? Cast. Moon, moon cast. Yeah. So helpful, so helpful. They really, are. <laughs> they really are. If you're having a bad day and you look at it, you go like, oh, no wonder I'm having a bad day. I think I'll use this. So, so um, just tell us why there are seven. Why did you create seven of them? Okay, so I'm not going to go deep into Eastern, theories and philosophies and religions because different schools have different numbers of chakras and we'll, we'll keep it simple. So on a simple base, human body has seven chakras. Your first one are your feet or also your butt. That's basically connected. That's something that keeps you grounded. So that's number one. And it's also responsible for your blood flow. Mm -hmm. So your lymphatic system, your blood flow, it's kind of, it's all, if you, if you feet not on the ground, the blood will not flow correctly. You have to reverse yourself once in a while, but typically, you know, as a human being, we stand on two feet. Mm -hmm. And the stronger your feet are, the stronger you stand on, the better your blood flow is. And mobility in your legs, again, promotes it. So number two is basically your sexual organs. For male and a female, your reproduction, your reproductive system. And this one was the one she first put on me <laughs> <laughs> when I was visiting, and I'm like, "Wow, um, I'm feeling something." <laughs> yeah, so number number two been very very popular among my customers. Like some people shoot in requests not for the entire like seven set, but just for number two because they claim it's like a major so aphrodisiac. No matter if you're doing it with a partner or by yourself or in any other shape or form. So. You know, it's funny because like even it, 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 it makes me feel happy. There's something about yeah. this one that really just lifts but my spirit. If you think about it again, like sex is supposed to make us feel happy. Yeah. Yeah. It's not just for reproduction. Joy. It's not just for, you know, manipulating somebody. It's supposed to make it, it's a release. It's supposed to make us feel happy. Yeah. It's letting go of basically everything and just embracing the sparks. So uh, number three is your digestive system. Okay. 
And in ideal universe, it should be, I made this one kind of universal, it's heating and cooling at the same time, but in ideal world, I would like to come up with two number threes, mm -hmm. one that carries more heat and one that carries more coolness. Mm -hmm. This one kind of has both. Mm -hmm. It's so nice. It's but it's very nice, nice. And, you know, it's really works. Like if you kind of feel bloated, just the smell of it releases the bloat. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it even helps with like, you know, water retention. And again, I have, I post instructions. I have instructions for each and every basically blend, how to use them, where to put them. There are certain points on your body where the most active. Number four is your lungs. Yeah. And your heart. And your heart, yeah. This so, one is so yummy too. So really it's yes, it's yummy. a very, it's a very, very special. They're all very special, but this one, I don't know, it carries for me number four is like there is something a little mystical to it. Yeah. It's yeah. kind of like it penetrates very deep when you inhale it. So it's probably does goes to your lungs. I don't know. I, again, I'm not even sure how some of this thing work. Just I work by how my body reacts temperature wise and you think this one would help because the lungs have to do with sadness in chinese medicine you know what i really like to do with that okay. this crazy days i actually like to apply a couple drops to my mask it helps me breathe better excellent we're going to come into mass in a minute so that's yeah a good yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah number five that you don't have in front of you i and you know what i don't have anything i don't want to leave the room so number yeah. five we have it right here oh thank number you yuna <laughs> so number five is basically your thyroid your throat your speech kind of like your brain breathing upper breathing upper atom and the five also like you know that's another one to inhale when you have trouble breathing but it's also kind of opens you up emotionally so you can speak freely so it's yeah. it's kind of like communication little point besides just, besides a... just breathing yeah yeah and so what about this... what about the immune system since that's around that area all of them actually all of those blends are very very good for your immune system they have some very magical combinations to them and they really boost your immunity altogether excellent and any of those mm -hmm. guys can be added like you can do a couple drops on diffuser you can add a couple drops to your bathtub or you know to your shower so it's 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 universal, and the cool thing, the way I organize the plants, they all kids safe and they all like pregnant safe. Right. So you can be breastfeeding, or you can be pregnant, so and none of the ingredients will affect you. Time. No, because you have to be very very careful with essential oils, and unfortunately, a lot of people don't know about it. Okay. They can actually do a lot of harm. Some of them are very potent. Oh, okay. All right. So, so how would you know when not to use them then? No, all of them, all of them can be used on kids. All of them can oh, be used on pregnant. Yeah, they're all kids safe and pregnant women safe. Pregnant safe. Okay, so I, I, I misunderstood. So what if, what if uh, you're ill, can you still use them? Yes, you can still use okay. them. All right. You actually can, like when you're ill, I would recommend smelling them and think which one you want to inhale. Mm -hmm. There's another way to use them. You put a couple drops in your hands, rub it up and just use your... Yeah, for your hands. Your hands is a little inhaler. So number six is your sore diet. Okay. And this one probably one of the best one for general meditations, no matter what day it is, because smells couple kind of open up your senses. So you put it here. You put it here. There, there are a couple other places you can put it. Okay. Start coming out. There we are. And you know, the other thing I notice about these oils is that um, they don't, um, they don't make your skin um, break out or anything like even no. with these oils like uh, you can you can wear them and um, you know if, if you have makeup on or even if you <laughs> don't. <laughs> But it, it's just like they just add, they just add, they don't like. They dissolve, yeah, they dissolve pretty much immediately. They don't leave you greasy, sticky or anything yeah, like that. No. And um, all the sprays, the facial sprays, the cool thing, you can use them just to refresh your face or you can use them to set your makeup. It actually works right. very good yeah. like after you yeah. applied everything. Yeah, yeah. So, and number seven is your crown. Right here. 
so that's I think is something very individual for everybody. So I'm not going to talk about it. Okay. Because your crown chakra is something that you willing or not willing to open up to the universe. Right. Willing or not willing. You know yeah. what? You know what? I, whenever I smell this, I always feel like I'm smelling rain. It yeah, thank you, thank you. Like Actually, yeah, that, that was up. that was kind of idea behind it. It yeah. was, yeah. it was basically water in motion, rain in motion. Yeah, yeah. just something. Um, wow. I'm glad yeah. I can correspond it. <laughs> I know, I know. I, as you can see, I I got like so excited about these, and then. Yuna got so excited about about these and um, and the reason we're actually doing this podcast work is we're not 100% um, ready for everything um, around this, but we really wanted to recommend and I, I actually <laughs> call this, you know how there's Chanel number five or number seven or whatever. This Adele is number Adele two. Number two. <laughs> and it is so, so good. And we wanted to we wanted to talk about these before Valentine's Day if people wanted to order them because um, so so talk talk about how if somebody wanted to order some of these now how they would go about doing it. Uh, we are in the process of setting up actually Etsy and Shopify, but currently you can just DM me at Instagram. And that can be arranged. I know it's not the best way to go, but I'm kind of new to commercial side of it. So it's Moon Oils by Adele. It's easy to find both on Instagram and um, on Twitter. And, and I'll, I'll, put the, I'll put those links down below yeah. in the notes. And you can order them. And by the way, thanks, Yuna. My kitchen right now smells like a perfume box because I'm trying to match the scents of your beautiful, yes. beautiful mixtures. Okay, I'm completely in love. Okay, yeah. So let's talk about this let's product. talk about one of the products obsessed. that you know, you know represents. You know, why don't you why don't you talk talk about that? And yeah. Then, and then talk about um, when when you brought this to Adele. <laughs> when, <laughs> and and let's talk. Let's have a conversation. Fusion. About it. so, it's so a what fusion. Did you just, what did you just pull pull up there? Go ahead. So, Seed Lip is the world's first non-alcoholic distilled spirit, and it's fantastic. Uh, so what does non-alcoholic distilled spirit necessarily mean? Um, how can you have both? So you need to think of seed lip um, similar to actually blending perfumes. Uh, Adele keeps mentioning the word hydrosols, or did you even say that word hydrosols? I think I, yes, I, yes. I said the word hydrosols through you. But essentially, um, we start with a neutral green spirit. Um, if you are to look at the bottle, you have all six different ingredients. And we take those ingredients, we put them into a separate um, bin and use a neutral grain spirit mm -hmm. to essentially extract every single flavor and every single thing that a hops can give you, a um, peas can give you, thyme, spearmint, uh, rosemary. And we extract as much as we possibly can and alcohol and water burn at a different temperature. So we're able to burn off the alcohol and what we're left is this incredible, incredible representation of um, rosemary and thyme and spearmint. And then the blending begins. So the master blenders blend this beautiful, amazing product together and, and then, you know, put it on the shelf. And uh, we have people obsessed with it and it, it honestly, you can't keep it on the shelves and you wonder you're like oh what are people even doing why why don't you want to drink and you know what the times are changing the world is changing you're able to have a beautiful dinner paired with an amazing um spirit and it doesn't necessarily need to give you a buzz your buzz can be from the company your buzz can be from the food your buzz can be from the pairing of this incredible liquid with with dinner so it's it's a different mentality, and, but and it's other something. Drinks, and other drinks, like uh, when we oh, definitely, your, absolutely. Um, your dinner, um, you had three different kinds. Mm -hmm. There's three different expressions. Yes, three different expressions, and then you also put it with what is what else did you mix it with? I think some kind of bitters or something. Well, we did I, we did, did tonic water the first time, mm -hmm. and it was three of us. And yesterday we actually mixed one with a touch of like pomelo. That was awesome. Soda water. So good. And the lime, but I suspect these people lie. There are much more ingredients in them than what they're claiming. It's it's <laughs> very it's it's the, sauce. I'll let you know. I'll let you know. 
They're amazingly complex. They're they smell are very incredible complex. and they taste incredible. And really you have a full blown cocktail without any side effects of alcohol. Exactly. Not, I'm not anti-alcohol. I enjoy my glass of wine or, you know, like some kind of concussion once in a while, but that's been fabulous. It just, mm-hmm. you, you have the full experience of drinking an amazing, amazingly smelling and tasting and like perfectly going with food. Beautiful martini mm-hmm. has zero consequences. And there's zero for your, hand or for your zero waistline. Sugar. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's true. There's no, um, there's no calories, literally, and there's no yep. sugar. There's, and so it's just, it's amazing. It's, it's, a, and it's what a pure a, flavor. Yes. And what Adele <laughs> wants to create is essentially, she wants to create something that will complement these uh, beautiful spirits. So, you know, if you are to have a cocktail, you can spray the glass with it. Or if you want your mask essentially smelling like Seedlip because you love the smell, we're trying to create something that is an extension off the brand which is really exciting because it's just cool. It's really cool. (laughs) But you know what? I'm trying to make them edible, basically something you can spray on your food. Yeah. Another cool thing for a spray like that would be like, let's say you're cooking a beautiful steak and you can spray, I would say spice probably a little bit over it once you take it off the grill. So it's going to like infuse it with those amazing senses or you're making some vegetarian dish and you would sp- mm-hmm. spray it with the blend that you know for the pea one you know for the rosemary one so it, again you kind of like in- infuse it with a little bit of it's it's going to be just a touch you're not going to exactly feel the full-blown taste of it but you're gonna it's 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 an infusion mm-hmm. it's nice and it's fun. Where can, and we, you can, where can we get them? If we if we want to order some, how do we get them, Yuna? Uh, I'm still in production because seriously, I'm lucky if I will finish to today because it's again the, the formulas of don't what what, don't what, what these guys did is very, very complex. And you know, for me, usually when I'm blending new formulas, I can maybe do two a day at max because it's a lot of work because my head begins to spin and you know I'm, it's kind of like too much cross-reference going on of course, of course. So it takes it takes time and then i need to come back and smell it this next day and maybe you know like even a day after it takes time so yeah, for sure. i'll be lucky if i'll blend two today i'll be very happy if i have one complete by sunday but you know a couple more days you know don't I'll, rush I'll, it I'll, I'll perfect them no i am actually because i'm so excited to get stuck <laughs> um but once we do them the first thing i think we want to do i'm going to give them to you and she and she can show them to sit with and if they approve yeah. it because this is me stealing their sense essentially so the friendly borrow if yeah. they want them back we can work together yeah, exactly. or, you know, work separately as a partnership and that's exactly it. exactly if you want to purchase the bottles of seed lip, you can actually just purchase them online i believe it's seed lip drinks um let me see see the drinks.com um and there's also uh you can do drizzly if you're in massachusetts mm-hmm. seed lip drinks i think is what it is yep see lip drinks.com um i'm starting a separate instagram because i'm going to start doing events with seed lip um in boston and it's seed lip boston um i will be posting like if i have giveaways or whatever else on seed lip boston sooner than later this week i'm tr- this this weekend i'm going to finish up the aesthetics of that page and then start kind of drawing an audience and hopefully that's where we're going to put adele's amazing sprays and if anybody wants to purchase it it'll be a link to her um website and whatever else we kind of create this week with her so it'll okay. be really fun and can i please whoever purchases this those drinks needs to be chilled but please treat them as you would treat very very fine gin yeah. But shake them, store them. I agree. Absolutely oh, agree wow. with that. The, those beautiful drinks deserve very, very gentle treatment. It's true. She's <laughs> absolutely right. Wow. Adele, absolutely you're such right. A connoisseur. It, 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 if you can all, all of you who are listening to this conversation can really see that uh, there's two very gifted women here who um, both um, work with their heart and their soul and their intuition and have created um, 
amazing, beautiful things that are just so unique. Um, like Adele's scents, they're absolutely unique. They're I amazing. Anything like them ever. And your, your, um, the suits that you create are, even though you're using, you know, uh, some traditional styles, they're so unique and, you know, very Thank much, you. you know, yours. Um, and I'm, before I forget, I, I do have some of, um, some of your masks as well. These are a few. They're beautiful. Sent to me. Yes, I have my don't, don't panic. panic. My don't panic mask. <laughs> yes. My favorite one. Yeah, and um, so tell us a little bit about how you got started doing this one, Yuna, and then, and then you know, definitely, what did what did you say? Number four, number four, number four, number five, number four, number Which five. Two favorites. Drop of this in there because I really think it makes a big difference when you. It does make a huge difference. Yeah. Um, essentially, about, essentially, essentially, you know, everything was on pause, and so I had extra fabrics, and I was able to kind of put together. I'm a very big person when it comes to utility and I love the best stuff. Mm -hmm. So, you, you know, you, you kind of start understanding where people's pain points are with these masks and you change it. Mm -hmm. So if you want something, you need a nose clamp, you, you, if you find the best nose clamp, if you, you know, if, if, if the ear part is the problem, you make the ear, ear adjusted the surface area a little bit bigger. So it's just, you got to listen to what the world kind of wants. And at the end of the day, really good material equals really good product. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it, it's tried to do them as naturally as possible, but it's, it's, we're living in a mask full world. And instead of doing suits and restaurant uniforms, I had to pivot and provide masks for people. And I did a program where if anyone buys three masks, one is donated to a restaurant. So I was doing that a lot um, for the staff, for, you know, for kids in schools. It's just at the end of the day, I'm really not trying to find that much of a profit from these masks because I hate wearing them as much as everyone else. <laughs> but it's, I'm trying to kind of make the most comfortable things that you can wear. And, well, they uh, are comfortable and they are very pretty. I mean, these are- That matches with what you're wearing. Yeah, beautiful. What I'm wearing. I actually have different ones that I'll say, okay, I'm wearing blue. So I put on a black. Yeah, it looks cool. <laughs> I like this color. And then I really totally, you know, when things are when things are going badly in the country, <laughs> I put this one on. So <laughs> that one gets a lot of compliments. Yes. People really like that one. Yeah. Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. It really it's it's the perfect um message for Mercury, right? In a few days. Yep. Panic. Absolutely tomorrow and again don't forget it just a phase it will pass too yeah just a phase well and you know i always notice that the, the mercury is the time to, to go back and redo what you should have done earlier or that you no, no with mercury it's basically it's it's a general disturbance in the air like everything gets a little bit like Shuffle. people 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 make too much of mercury in retrograde nothing horrible is happening it happens three or four times a year depending on the year and all that really happens is communications get distorted, yeah. not destroyed, distorted. So you just have to be listening more, focusing a little bit more, and communicating a little bit clearly. Yes, things can break. You know, your car may not start tomorrow, but you know what? Give it 15 minutes, pat it on the hood, say, come on, honey, we need to go somewhere. So stuff like that. You know, you may have problems with your Wi Fi. You may have problems with your mm -hmm. phone. Restart it. Yeah. That's all it is. It just, Mercury in retrograde takes a little bit more attention and a little bit more patience. That's all it is. It's a lesson in patience. There are much more worse events that's happening in astrology that actually create catastrophes, wars, major conflicts, misunderstanding, complete breakup be between friends and, you know, families. No, Mercury in retrograde, it just, it's a little messy, messy time. That's all it is. Yeah. Adele, you, you want to give us a little February forecast? Yeah. <laughs> For February, um, you know what we're approaching, it's actually, it's, it's February's transitional time because we are approaching Lunar New Year. The Lunar New Year starts on a new moon, which is going to be in about two weeks from now. Some people begin to celebrate now, which is kind of appropriate. It's kind of like 
you're saying goodbye to the last year. Mm. So you're saying goodbye to the year of the red. The next year is the rail, uh, year of the ox. So a month after new year begins, which is February 11th on the new moon, to the next new moon is a transitional period. Technically on the next full moon, the signs change completely, but the old one doesn't go away for another two weeks. So February is a transitional month. It's, yeah. um, and with ev- any transitional month, it's very good time to clean up loose ends, little messy corners, get rid of the stuff that you need. Maybe think about stuff that you do need not to settle around and buy something like, you know, you no, but you know, like what would you like to have for the next 12 months? Mm-hmm. And um, so traditionally, again, with Lunar New Year, two weeks before new moon and full moon, cleaning up last year stuff. And the first two weeks after the full moon is setting up intentions. Mm-hmm. Or not just intentions. Don't just sit in your chair and think, you know, I want, I don't know, we're doing a million dollars. No, like setting up the steps. So laying up the groundwork. So that's that's pretty much for the February. Otherwise, yes, there is Mercury in retrograde. Nothing again, nothing super special about it. Just be patient. Uh, be clear. And don't panic. Yeah. So obviously, wear the mask. <laughs> and don't panic. <laughs> yeah. And um, can you can you tell us anything about um, how this could be used for Valentine's Day? We'd we'd really love for people to think about, you know, even just getting number two. You know, what, two. that's that's your domain. Smell it. Use it. Have fun with it. Really- and tell is is there something that you could produce um, that we could market as like a love potion? For for Valentine's Day, I think that's the one. We can we can we can turn it into spray. Yeah, that would be easier to use. Yes. Yeah. We can make candles with this aroma as well. But I find you know candles again these days. I'm a little bit worried with the cold weather and you know. Yep. 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 I don't want to set any house fires, so I'm not going to promote yeah. candles. But we can definitely do some sprays. And again, this is basically aphrodisiac by itself. So, well, you were telling me that this works with your own skin and your own yes. personal chemistry. Yes. So even though these are scents that are the same, they're going to be different on me than they would on either of you. It will be. Just please do not put it in your eyes on your private parts. Never put any kind of essential oils in your eyes or on your private parts. That's not a great idea. Okay. Rule, number Rule number one. But all around it can be rule. Uh, okay. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you know what I noticed is that, you know, I think you just put it on my arm, but I felt it in my whole body. So, it didn't... you know, the general rule is, again, the ancient people who invented perfumes, Greeks, Egyptians, Mayans, you know, everybody had their old senses. They all nailed out the main points where you put it. And again, never rub, dub. dub. So it's oh, usually it. dub it, mostly dub it. Like the oils you can rub, perfumes you only dub. But so oil you can rub. So let's start from the top. It's very simple. So your sword eye, if you want it, kind of running down your face, but behind your ears, on your neck, between your breasts, your wrists, Mm -hmm. your elbows. And again, for number two, I would put it on the hip points, like basically where the hip flexors are. Okay, okay. Yeah, because there's a lot of blood running in that area. And again, if you want to go deeper, you can always apply this kind of stuff behind your knee and on your Achilles on both sides. And, and Achilles, Achilles tendons. Oh, Achilles, okay. And between your thumb and the second finger on your feet. Okay, on your feet. But you know what, I can, I can write it all down. We can post it all separately. It's, it's too much information to remember. But know, remember basic ones. 
wrists, elbows, throat, behind the ears, between the breasts. So for the seventh chakra, would you place that on your crown? I will place a little bit on my crown, but also, and again, the basically the hot points on your body. So they could be on the same point. Yeah. Now, um, you were also saying that sometimes you place them right here. Yes. If you want to just smell it. No, so tell I, I really like number four and number five, actually, under my nose and yeah. on some like under your lower lip. Okay. Because they keep inhalate you. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the, um, that's the, um, in, uh, in, in, in Chinese medicine and, and um, that, that's the, the point that, that connects the, the back side and the front side, the genmo. And, the yeah. Genmo. But again, if you spray it, like drop a couple drops on your mask, you don't even need to put it on your skin if you don't want to. But for those of us who still wear makeup, put the oil on first, then do the makeup. Oh, that's good to know. That's really good to know. Good. Because sprays will set it, but oil can smudge it a little bit. So depends how heavy you wear it. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, listen, uh, could you both uh, give us your information one more time? And I will put it down below, um, but just so that people can hear it. Um, so if you know if, if people want to contact you and get any of the pro any, any of these products or any um, products that uh, any, any uh, clothing, yep. clothing, my website is yaapparel a p p a r e l dot com, and if you're interested in the masks, it's yaapparel dot com slash m m x x little twenty twenty nod. Um, yeah, and Adele and I are going to be working together with the Moon Oils to be able to deliver something that's a little bit easier to purchase with a little swipe up or something along those lines. See, look for that around mid-February, and um, we're just really excited for that. And it's seedlipdrinks.com if people are looking to buy some seedlip and celebrate some non-alcoholic uh, moments. And, um, you know, you don't really need necessarily alcohol, or you can add a little bit to your champagne, whatever you, whatever you want, you can do. But that's where you can <laughs> get like it. Sounds like a uh, great Valentine's night between uh, this and Lipsy. <laughs> you could do. Uh, let's get uh, it on, baby. <laughs> really nice night. And Adele, um, please give us your information. So right now it's moon underscore oils on Instagram, Instagram, which is moon oils by Adele. Again, we just search for that. And for the Twitter, I think it's the same thing. It's um, actually at Tao Mooncast. But again, you can search Moon Oils by Adele and you will get there. Okay. Moon Oils by Adele. And Adele. And once YouTube. once I launch the commercial site, again, I can be contacted with via direct messages right now. And I will promise to ship everything you guys order. But once we launch the commercial site, it's going to be on both websites and we're going to announce it some other way as well. Well, maybe we'll announce it on here as well. And if anybody uh, feels lost and they don't know how to get any of this, I can get you in touch with both of these people. You can email me at playingyou at yahoo.com. And um, it's playingyou, all one word, at yahoo.com. And I will forward your information on to Yuna and Adele. You guys, this has been a blast. <laughs> you know, it's so funny, but I have to tell my audience, Neither of these two wanted to come on. <laughs> I pulled them in, but it's she did. <laughs> she did. She made us. <laughs> but I mean, and like, so look at these drop down gorgeous women who should be on camera. Um, but um, but because I am so excited about both of their products, about what they're doing in the world, and also, um, you know, very seldom do I find something that I go, oh my gosh, like. This is beyond anything. And, and, and um, all of Yuna's products are like that. And Adele is just like, she's just begun. <laughs> she's yeah. just begun. That, that, that no I do idea know. idea where she'll that go. That I do know. That just, I do know. Just begun. So thank you, both of you. Thank you for being patient with me and coming on. And let's, let's do this again, OK? Yes. When we get further Sounds down awesome. the road, we'll do this again. And everyone will be very happy to see both of your faces. So. Many Thank blessings. you, Aurora. Happy New Year and happy Absolutely. Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Bye. We'll celebrate something with you both very soon. Actually, yes. Absolutely. We will. Yes. Okay. We will. Take care. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.